Hey guys, so welcome back to the channel. So today we have a wig from the Raquel Welch collection. This wig was sent over from the wig company. So you get a couple different things in the box. I've worked with them before and I tend to like their wigs because their wigs are throwing goals. So if you do not like lace and you don't want to deal with all that stuff, you're going to like these wigs. So anytime I'm allowed to pick a color from the site, I always go with this like cinnamon type color because they do these colors so right. Like the blend on them looks super, super natural. So let's go ahead on and get into a quick unboxing. So they all come into this like grayish box. Sometimes they come into a white box, but at least you always get a box. Inside you get a couple promotional things and you also get, um, I think like something to mail the wig back. So they do take returns, which is really nice. So let's get into this top right here. One thing I like about them is that you do not get a faux scalp, honey. They are going to give you a wig that makes it look more natural. Now the back of it, you don't get the adjustable straps. You do get these adjustable velcro pro um their straps, but they're not the ones with the clips on them. So that's one thing that may be a con for some people. So when, as you look into the front of this, you guys, I always like the bangs because honey, ain't nobody going to feather a wig like the wig company. They're going to feather it. So the front of it is everything. And again, I'm showing you that the back of it looks good as well. It's not my normal, but I like how they take their time to make the wig look good and they make it not look fake because I do not like those um, shiny scalp. So as you can see, I'm just pulling my hair back. It's not braided down anything for those who don't want to braid their hair down. You don't have to pull it back and put on a wig cap. So when I put the wig on initially, I liked the color right away, but I was like, oh, hold up. This makes me look older. I don't know if I'm going to like this. So I was like, well, let me stick with it and let me just work with it just a little bit. So they came with the bobby pins and I took and put the bobby pins on the side. And as I started to work with it and move the wig around, I, I started to like it more most of these wigs you do have to just work with what I love about these is all you need is your fingers a comb and just a little bit of time so the top of it back there was a little bit high but like I said they do it that way so that you don't get like a faux scalp so you can't go in and put it down you guys know if you've watched me for years that I am a left side part girl so what I ended up doing was taking this wig and putting it where I could do a faux left side and that bang came together it was popping but what I didn't like was on the other side there, it looked like it was lifting, which it was. Again, my hair is not braided down and these wigs don't come with clips. So I was showing you that you do get like so many different layers and everything in it that you can still work with the wig and you can make it look good. So I was like, OK, I don't want to put it on the left side. Let me try in the middle with like some bangs and honey. That was it for me. When I tell you I was getting all kind of um, 70s and fair faucet vibes from this, I absolutely loved it. Now, with more time and if I was aware, of course, I would go in and I would I feel like put it down in the back a little bit like that hump area. Otherwise, I like the wig. You guys let me know what you guys think. Thank you all for stopping by the channel today and I will see you all in my next video.